Hey, it's CrossFitTracking.com here to review for the Polar OH1 heart rate sensor. Um, it has been tested a number of times compared to a chest strap, and I found it to be a great alternative to the necessity of a chest strap. A lot of times when you're doing a CrossFit workout, the chest strap can sometimes get clipped when you're doing a close to the body clean or when you're doing uh, burpees, obviously anything on the chest the you know typical chest strap protrudes just a little bit and it's a little bit more uncomfortable um, of a feeling versus having it on your arm you can wear the, the oh1 on the bicep or on the forearm you can even swim with it if you snap it onto the side of your goggles so i'm going to show just a few of the basic um, things that come in the box um, as far as accuracy goes it proved to be almost as accurate as a chest strap um, not 100%, I would say like 90 to 92% accurate, but for most, uh, most things, you know, obviously if you're comparing it to an optical heart rate sensor that's worn on a watch, it's going to be infinitely more accurate and provide you with a much better output so you can evaluate the difficulty of the workout also so that you get the load calculations correct based on uh, the cardiovascular load evaluation with with whatever watch you happen to be pairing it to. It does pair with Bluetooth and Ant Plus, and you can pair it to two devices at the same time using those separate methods. Um, you can also just use it just to track your heart rate and save it right on the device. Um, it stores up to 200 um, hours of data and lasts for about 12 hours on a charge. I've found that to be pretty accurate. Um, it's pretty simple. You basically just pair it with the device or pair it with the Polar Beat app and you turn it on and it shows that it's linked up and paired and you start your workout on your watch or on Polar Beat and then you go about it and then you end your workout and it tracks that whole time. If you're doing it on your own, you just double press the button twice as I'll show you just in a second and it'll start recording data and then you do a long press at the end and it'll save that and then when you go back to Polar Beat, and the Polar Beat sees it, it'll download all that information for what the workout looked like. Um, if you look at it just as a standalone device, it just tracks your heart rate. And in Polar Beat, Polar Beat's a free app, um, you can get all of the heart rate over time. So you'll get the chart, you'll get an output, an estimation of calories burned, as well as the average heart rate and the peak heart rate and the minimum heart rate. And then you'll get your heart rate graph for how much time you spent in each zone based on your age and max heart rate calculation. Um, I feel like now I'm, I'm sort of a little bit of a, um, data freak. So I really like the chest strap and I tend to use an ant plus chest strap, this old school version from Garmin, which is not, doesn't have as much of a protrusion as the Bluetooth chest straps do. Um, but I found it to be great. Um, I did really like the fact that I didn't have anything on my chest. It was just off to the side of my arm. It didn't feel like it was in the way at all. Um, obviously over time, if you wear a chest strap, you're going to get used to the feeling of it. It's not going to be as mentally, um, bothersome, but having it on the arm and having, you know, a far more accurate, um, heart rate calculation, com you know, compared to the optical heart rate sensors, it just provides a much better value. So with that, I'm going to just look at some of the box content, show you just a little bit about the device. Um, but overall, I feel like it was a great optical heart rates it is based on it's still optical but it's much better tracking across the uh the forearm or the bicep so that you can avoid all the wrist flex that most crossfit workouts do and still get accuracy hold on so this is the basic contents you know obviously actually it writes on the box that it's perfect alternative chest straps and i found it to really kind of be that and i misspoke in the first part of the video um it really was more like 96 to 98 percent accuracy what you will see sometimes is that um, some of the peaks don't get caught, although I found the average heart rate as well as the max heart rate um, for like the peak, peak, peak of the workout to be the same. It's just along the way uh, when you're using more fluctuation or doing rotating sets of something, uh, sometimes the peak doesn't get captured. Um, you charge it simply with this. It charges uh, relatively quickly. Um, and it comes with, you know, the standard strap that you can use for your forearm or for your bicep. It just snaps into place there. You obviously place um, the diodes towards the inside. I kept thinking it was going to roll over um, because it feels like it's a little bit, obviously, you know, protruding a little bit, but it never did. 
uh, in any of the tests. So it still held really, um, re held really well. I probably wouldn't wear it on my forearm because there's a little bit so much movement, but wearing it on the bicep seemed to be great. It didn't cause too many problems. And it comes with two additional clips. These are sort of like the old belt clip style. Um, so you can see that it has a protrusion there. This one's more of a full clip and this one obviously has more sides to it. It is waterproof to 30 meters, so you're gonna have plenty, you know, plenty of ease at getting it um, you know, wet, and not have a problem there. Obviously, like I said, you can track it with your, uh, on the side of your goggles to track heart rate. An optical in the water is not gonna perform as one of the water-based uh, chest straps, but it's still, when it comes to CrossFit, it is a great um, higher level accuracy than you're gonna get on the watch on your wrist by a significant margin. Um, again, you know, I could sync this to two different devices at the same time, because one would sync by Bluetooth and like a Garmin would sync by Amp Plus. Um, I found it to be really easy to set up and easy to use. And even with the, you know, Polar Beat app, you could sync it directly to that. And in, in the Polar Beat app, you can get um, obviously information on how much battery is, is life done, left on the device. But you simply turn it on by pushing the, the small little button on the side. You hold that down. And then when you're done with your workout, you hold it off. Now, obviously, if you're doing your workout, you turn it on. You make sure it sees it. And then you start your workout on your device, whether it's the Polar Beat or a watch. The lights stay green the whole time. When you get done, you simply end your workout and then hold this button down again to turn it off. Um, you know, it's relatively small, so obviously you gotta keep up with it. Um, but I found it to be a great experience and a great alternative, just like they said on the box. So again, the Polar OH1 optical heart rate monitor for use on the forearm, bicep, or goggle band. Thanks so much, CrossFitTracking.com.